There are lots of people who still use a paper-based productivity system that's based on GTD, getting things done. And if that's you, or if you're thinking of adopting a paper-based system, I have some advice on how you can process your notes. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. That coming up, but first I want to remind you about my online on-demand course, Getting Things Done with Evernote. It shows you how to combine those two resources into a powerful productivity system. More details at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses. That is unless you want a paper-based system. Becky from Pierce, South Dakota sent me an email. She wrote me, I think I heard you say that you used to have a paper-based GTD system before you started using Evernote. I'm building a paper-based productivity system, but need advice on what to do with meeting notes after you put tasks on your action item list. Well, Becky from Pierce, South Dakota, or is it Pierce or Pierce, South Dakota? I, I never know which was right, but I have visited your wonderful community. Yeah, I used to have a paper-based system, and the only reason I moved away from it was because I was traveling so much that I didn't want to carry around lots of paper folders. But here's how I used to do it and the way I've advised my paper-based clients. So some people like notebooks. I don't. I use eight and a half inch pads, usually yellow, but the color doesn't matter. I don't like legal pads. They're too big and they don't fit in the file folders that I use. I don't keep a diary. I'll show you why. But you can use printed agendas. So the first important step is how do I take notes on paper? But this system actually works in a digital environment as well. First of all, I put the date, the name or purpose of the meeting, who attended the meeting. Now, what do you write down in your notes? Important information, important quotes, follow-up items, decisions that were made. And I box those. Assignments for you and deadlines for others. That I box as well. Now, when I'm done with a meeting, I put them in my inbox. Actionable items go into my lists or calendar. Waiting fors into the appropriate list. And reference items go into my reference system. Those lists are kept in a special folder that I carried with me every day. The original notes went into the folder for each individual project. So let's say I was working on our department's budget. I had a folder marked budget. So every note I took related to the budget went into that folder. Now I have a central repository and a record of what took place at every meeting and every discussion we had on that project. And I put my own work in that project folder too. For me, it was a very efficient system. I'm Dave Edwards.